everyone, it's Harry here bringing you week two of the YCL. We're coming off a win against um, Nashville Nitto Kings last week. This week we're up against the Pecatonica Fire Squirrels, I think it's pronounced. Uh, they're coming off a close loss uh, last game. Um, played against the, I guess, the Hail team uh, last week. This week we play against a potential uh, Sun team. Um, they've got mostly just uh, Nine Tails and uh, Nine Tails is the Setter and Leafion with uh, Chlorophyll, but they've also got um, Entei, which would get boosted um, Sacred Fries, which you know already hit hard enough. But then you add in the uh, extra boost from the Sun and the chance to burn, so a bit tricky for us to play around. Um, you can see already on the right. Uh, couple of notable mons that I've left out with Rillaboom and Scizor. Um, I think uh, just, you know, a lot of teams that Shelby, who's my opponent, can potentially bring, uh, they just don't do uh, what I want them to do. And um, I think I've got a couple of things that really shine in this match or have the potential to shine. So I'll get into that in a moment. Um, you can see the six down below of what I um, think they'll potentially bring. Um, Zygarde's always scary. I think I've got a lot of answers to that Zygarde, but, um, <clears throat> you know, it's always got the potential to get out of hand, I guess. Um, Azumarill's the one that I really struggle with, and because Azumarill is such a problem for me, I kind of expect, um, Shelby to not bring the sun. Uh, I don't think, I don't think she'll want to, um, uh, limit its potential for using water moves like Aqua Jet and Liquidation. So yeah, I think I think that's a six she'll bring. I'm yeah, fairly confident that's what she should bring anyway. I uh, probably need to watch out for like a um, scarfed um, Jolteon as well. It is item claws, so I'll have to keep an eye on uh, who's bringing the scarf so that um, I can play around that. But yeah, we'll get into what I'm bringing, won't waste too much time because she is waiting for me. Um, I've got Cursula, uh, running a max HP, max speed F set. I do have Quick Claw. Um, I wanted to run lefties, but I was using lefties elsewhere. But uh, I think rocks are pretty important in this match. I think um, it's very likely that she'll bring at least two Mons weak to rocks and only one of them can hold boots. So kind of expect the uh, Togekiss to be coming wearing boots, um, the only other thing would be Entei, I don't think Ninetales would bring boots, um, so that's what that's there for, and then Quick Claw can just let me get off an attack, um, potentially before dying. I've also got Perish Body, so uh, if I get stuck and I don't have an option against Azumarill's Belly Drum, uh, I can potentially sack the Cursula and then uh, that'll start their timer so I can maybe limit the damage a little bit there but um, yeah we'll see. Uh, I'm bringing Nightmare so the debu debut of both Cursula and um, Mandibuzz this week. It's just a physically defensive set. Um, yeah Boots, Defog, Roost, U-Turn, Foul Play so uh, pretty stand set, but I think it's uh, quite nice in this one. Uh, I like getting off a slow U-turn. I think, yeah, I don't think it wants to stay on the field too often, so just getting um, potentially to fog hazards away. Next up is Licky Licky, which is my cloister. So I'm not sure about the item. I think King's Rock might be a bit overkill. Uh, the only real reason I can see it coming in handy is against a Bronzong. I hit Pin Missile, which um, should two hit KO, even a physically defensive set. When I'm at plus two, uh, he gets flinched, so he can't like Gyrable or um, Toxic me. And then I hit it again, and um, yeah, then I just become almost unkillable. So I can hopefully run through his team with this. So I just need to put in a bit of work. I probably want to set this up against. Um, Zygarde. Um, I've got Will-O-Wisp on Victini, which I'll go through in a moment, but the idea is if I can get this in against something that's burnt, who's physically offensive and burnt, and then Shell Smash, then I'm in a really good spot. Um, bringing a special 
uh, Victini this week. I'm faster than both um, Zygarde and Azumarill, and uh, I've got the Pasho Berry to weaken one water water attack from the Azumarill, so the idea is, is to uh, basically tank a hit from the Azumarill if he goes for Aqua Jet, or um, outspeed Zygarde's uh, Thousand Arrows and will o -Wisp at first, um, sort of negate that damage, and then I've got Glaciate for the Zygarde as well, so uh, Ice Move, lower speed. It's not super strong, but it's four times effective, so uh, it'll still like break subs and um, you know do everything I need to do. Psy Shock, Shock's really good for coverage, so I think this is the right set for uh, Victini in this game, and I think it's going to be really important if this set doesn't work and I can't burn one of those threats, then I think I'm going to have a really hard time. I uh, bring Banded. Um, Zygarde 10, which I think is really good in this match. He's got a lot of um, ground weak Pokemon. Uh, Thousand Arrows, super spammable. Uh, Toxic is there. Well, Toxic and Stone Edge are both there for um, Togekiss, really, if that becomes uh, a common switch in. I think he'll bring a um, physically defensive Togekiss. I think it makes sense against Rillaboom and the Zygarde, so. Um, yeah, just have to. Be mindful of situations, I guess. Be mindful of how much health Togekiss, Togekiss is on, and um, yeah, sort of play that accordingly. Uh, and then I've got uh, Cloyster, which is my Licky Licky, uh, just Ice Beam as attack, as an attack. Uh, just Wish Protect, Lefties, uh, Heal Bell. So pretty stand set on that. So yeah, kind of um, want to get into a position where I can cripple her um, offense before. You know, I start playing my offense, and yeah, I want to get rocks up, um, and then yeah, shell smash, and hopefully win from there. So yeah, I'll see you back for the match shortly. <laughs> All right, we are here for the match. We did have a lot of mucking around with um, uh, Lean, so that happens sometimes. But here we are. Let's see what they brought. Shellos, really? No Zygarde. No Togekiss. Is that no removal? That's very strange. Um. Okay. I wish I went Sash Cursler then. Okay. No Zygarde. They bring the other ground type. No Jolteon, they bring Leafeon. And no Togekiss, they bring Ninetales, so... Okay, so they do have that Sun Core. I think I'm just going to go with Zygarde. Play from there, I think that's fair enough. Alright, good luck, have fun to Shelby, uh, should be a good match. I don't, I didn't really look into Shellos, so I'm not sure what, what it's there for. Zoom roll. Should have led Victini. Um. Uh, I don't have a player off switch in. Kind of just want damage on this, I think. Um. They're no HP. I should have led Victini. Thousand arrows are toxic. Player off. 
a bad start for us, I think. They go for belly drum. Yeah, citrus berry, so it should be belly drum. We can revenge this with E speed, so we kind of have to sack something, I think. <sighs> what don't we need, though? maybe no. fuck probably need that for into should have led Victini Lose Mandibus straight away, which is unfortunate. Back into Zygarde and the extreme speed. I mean, Azumarill's really um, threatening to us, so get, at least getting rid of that, quite nice. Here we go, Ron's on here, gets rocks up, we can't get rid of them. I think if he goes Bronzong, I go into Cursler and I get up my own rocks. He goes in the nine tails, obviously knows we're banded. Uh, I think we still go Cursler here. Would it be specs? Uh, even then it's fine. <clears throat> that was a very odd start, but um you know, fair play to them. I, Victini was always the plan. I should have just stuck with it. Toxic. That's fine. I want to get up my rocks. <laughs> Quick claw. Nice. Probably rather that next turn, but whatever. Alright, so how much is Weather Ball doing? Probably about 30, 40%. Um, I go Licky. I don't think I need this anymore. We'll just go Shadow Ball. Get some damage off. Flame Charge. Right. That'll be um, Perish body, body up. We do some damage. Uh, Zygarde Extreme Speed potentially kills this. Uh, 
think I'll just do that. Yeah, should. As long as he's offensive, which I think he is. Curse to do with Shadow Ball. Yeah, yeah, he's offensive. This should kill. Yeah. <clears throat> he could go, probably goes Leafy on here. speed here. I think he's going to go for knockoff. Knockoff does a lot. This is just in case he goes for sword dance. Didn't do as much as I wanted. Yeah. Three turns of sun left, so that's not good. All right, so extreme speed here, and then going to Licky and I protect, and I lose that. Protect this turn. Knockoff shouldn't kill me. I'm just gonna wish. Sword dance here, that would be oh she should could sword dance here, which would be a good play. Um ice beam. Should have ice beamed. That's alright. Good play. Right, I'll ice beam this time. Damage. They should 
go... I don't know what they go, actually. Shell Smash. They've got E speed, then it's. I'll be slower because they're at plus two as well. That was a bad play, to be honest. Um, I'll ice school speed. Alright, so if we get a flinch, which is like 41% against the Bronzong, then I think we win, because I don't think Shellos can... Toxic next turn. Oh, I messed up the lead. Like, they went belly drawn, they had the double sword dance. Like, they just went super offensive, which, you know, I think is the right play. I think it's a very good play. 
But if I went Bronzong and uh, Victini and which was my gut, um, come on, just crit every time. I don't even think that'd be enough. Um, yeah, if I went with my gut and went into Victini and Will O Wisp turn one, yeah, that would be enough. But that'll be game. Um, or even if I had White Herb. Yeah, so many things I could have done better in that game, but... Uh, she played well. I'm not happy with the way I played. Um, but yeah, we go to one and one. Yeah, trying to think. Bronzong lived at the end, Charlotte's died. Yeah, pretty disappointed. Uh, I think... I think they were never leading Zygarde. Uh, sorry, they were never going to let me lead Zygarde for free, so the Azumarill lead made sense. Victini wasn't scared of anything. Yeah, should have led Victini. That's a bad play by me, so... Put me on the back foot for the whole match. I never... Never quite caught up, I got it close, um, but yeah, well done to Shelby, I'll see you back for week three. <laughs>